Today, we will look at the following question. What can you do at best in T rounds in the local model? We didn't restrict message size. We didn't restrict local computation. So, in each round, everyone could tell everything they know to all their neighbors. And this is also the best thing that you could do. You can't tell something you don't know, and telling less won't help. Let's see what this means. Before the first round, each node knows only its own identifier and its own degree and whatever local inputs it had. So basically, you know only your radius zero neighborhood. And this is all that you can tell your neighbors in round one. But now, if everyone tells this to each neighbor, everyone will know who their neighbors are. So after one round, all nodes are aware of their radius one neighborhoods. And in the second round, everyone will tell this to all their neighbors. So everyone will learn what is the radius one neighborhood of each neighbor. And if you put together this information, you will have a full picture of your radius two neighborhood. And you continue this way. After round three, everyone knows their radius three neighborhood. After round four, everyone knows their radius four neighborhood, and so on. So at best, in T rounds, you can learn everything up to distance T, and nothing more. And if you stop after T rounds and announce your local output, then whatever you output has to be a function of the information that was there in the network within distance t from you. So now we have got another equivalent way to define algorithms in the local model. An algorithm that runs in time t is simply a mapping from radius t neighborhoods to local outputs. This means that time and distance are interchangeable in the local model. And therefore, fast distributed algorithms are also highly localized. If you have a fast algorithm, each node makes decisions based on the information that was available in its local neighborhood. So let's recap. All these notions are the same in the local model. What is the running time? Or how many communication rounds are needed? Or what is the locality of the problem? Or how far do you need to see in the graph? Something as simple as coloring a path with two colors is an example of a global problem. Let's quickly prove it. Assume you had some way of solving it in sublinear time. So a long, a long path, these two nodes could pick their own colors based on the information in their local neighborhoods only. Let's assume the distance between the nodes is even, so they pick the same color. Let's say black. But let's then modify the input graph like this. We just move this one node to a new place, keep everything else the same, including all unique identifiers. These two local neighborhoods don't change. So the local outputs of these two nodes won't change either. So both nodes will still output the same color. But the distance between the nodes is now odd. So somewhere along the path, the coloring can't be right. So any sublinear time algorithm will fail. Linear time brute force algorithms are the only possibility here.